My name is Karina and I am a snacker. I get 21 points on Weight Watchers and I like to keep my snacking on the low point side. Low points to me means four and under. Sometimes I go a little higher, but I really do try to keep it under four points for a snack. I'm gonna start off right away with vegetables and fruits. There are many to choose from. A lot of them, if not all of them, are free foods. Make sure that you check with your program to see which ones are not. In the summertime, there's so much more to choose from. There's cherries, watermelon, blackberries, blueberries, apples, strawberries, cantaloupe, bananas, and so much more. I enjoy chopping up fruits and even making fruit cups or fruit bowls out of them. Sometimes I'll just eat that in the morning. Vegetables, there's a wide variety of vegetables as well. You can have potatoes, carrots, celery. I have really been enjoying sugar snap peas. You get the crunch like a potato chip without all the calories. Sweet potatoes, squash, most of those are really nice to have for sides with our dinners. A few months ago, I discovered this Smart Sweets candy. I find this at Target and I am truly enjoying it. My two favorite flavors are the ones that look similar to Twizzlers and Swedish Fish. I have tried some of the other ones. Some of them can get really super sour, so just be aware of that, but they are a good treat, perfect for watching movies, and when you want a piece of candy. You can also order them on Amazon. I may be a little obsessed with these. These are sea salt crackers. They are crispy and so delicious and they pair perfectly with apples and cheese. I love them. I eat them for snacks. I eat them for lunches. They're just a really good cracker. When I'm craving a potato chip, I always go for the baked chips. I can get one ounce of these for three points. They have regular and they also have sour cream and cheddar. They have barbecue. Sometimes it's a struggle to find them at Walmart, so I just keep my eyes open. And when I see a bag, I grab it. But I really enjoy having chips on hand to go alongside of sandwiches, subs, anything like that. No sugar applesauce on my personal points is zero points, so it's a free food for me. While Walmart has got a lot of flavors in stock and I am enjoying strawberry, blueberry, the original is good, but my favorite is the Granny Smith. It has a little tartness in it and it just makes up a perfect applesauce. Skinny popcorn, I find this usually between Walmart and Sam's Club. I enjoy the individual bags. For me, it is two points for one of the individual bags and it's, again, a great treat when we're watching a movie or if I just want a little something salty besides potato chips. I was looking around on Weight Watchers website and saw that they had a store. So I was looking through their store and I come across these little Weight Watcher bars. Wow, my goodness, are these things good. When you want a candy bar, okay, hang on. Side note, they are a little small. They're not the size of a candy bar, but when you are craving chocolate or some of them have caramel, some have peanut butter, one of them has caramel and pretzel, yeah. It's really good. And for me, that little bar is the perfect serving to take care of a sweet tooth. They are two points a piece. Another thing I just discovered is the Weight Watchers chocolate spread. I also have the peanut butter spread, which is good, but it isn't as good as the chocolate spread. Don't go in thinking that the chocolate one is like Nutella because it's not, but it is really good. You can dip little cookies in it, crackers, whatever. You can make up desserts with it. You can do many things with it. It goes a long way and it is really good. Two tablespoons is three points. I usually just do one tablespoon because two tablespoons goes a long way. This pairs perfectly with those dips that I was just talking about and this is the Kodiak Bears crackers. Oh man, these things are so good. <laughs> I have not had the cinnamon flavor yet, but I know it's out there and I'm hunting for it. But I do like the honey one and the chocolate one. You can get quite a few of these for some low points. They pair perfectly with coffee. Or you can just eat them on their own. They're just really good. I would be lost without Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge Cheese. I have learned that the lower point one, which is only one point per wedge, is the one that says light. The other one is not, it's higher in points. 
So I try to make sure that I get the light wedges and those I dip apples into them, crackers. I make sometimes lunch plates with lunch meat, crackers, and an apple and I just kind of have that cheese with all of it. It is so good. You can also make omelets with it. There's many different things that you can do with the Laughing Cow Wedge cheese. If I'm not eating it for lunches, I will enjoy some turkey lunch meat or even ham lunch lunch meat. Roasted turkey for me is zero points, but I like the honey turkey at Sam's Club, which ends up being one point for two ounces. And then I also buy the Black Forest ham from Sam's Club, which is also one point for two ounces. That's quite a bit of lunch meat when you get it all weighed out. Sometimes for snacks, I'll just roll up the lunch meat and I'll eat it like that. I've even taken ham and cheese with some bread and I've toasted it, so it's a toasted ham and cheese sandwich. You can even add it in omelets for breakfast. Weight Watchers has some really good ice cream bars. They are the giant ice cream bars. I like them. They are four points a piece and they're more of a silky type texture of an ice cream. They're very good. But I also enjoy the Yasso bars. Now, some of the Yasso bars are really high for me on my points program, but I have found these ones, they're only 80 calories and three points a piece, and they're still really super good. My favorite over the Yasso or the Weight Watcher bar would probably be the Weight Watcher bar, but the Weight Watcher bar is four points, where if I only have three points, then I eat the Yasso if I'm craving ice cream. String cheese is another nice snack, or I can cut it up and put it in salads. I can even put it in breakfast dishes, omelets and things like that. But with this new program, I have found that I'm struggling with the points on string cheese. It comes in pretty high for me. One string cheese, and it's a light string cheese, is like three to four points. I don't always have four points to spend on string cheese. So I eat that at a lot slower of a pace than what I used to. Now back in the day with Smart Points, Weight Watchers had a string cheese out and it was only one point. I don't know why they got rid of that. I wish they wouldn't have because one point for string cheese would really help me in my selection of snacks to eat throughout the day. Fiber One Bars? Oh man, these are only two points a piece and they are so good. You can get many different varieties. There's chocolate chip, there's cinnamon, there's lemon. I can't find the lemon. I want lemon. There's a chocolate one and many times if I have these for a dessert, I will put some sugar-free whipped cream on the top of it. I mean, it's cake and whipped cream. You can't go wrong. Oh, sometimes I'll take the Yasso ice cream off from the stick and I put that in the bowl with a Fiber One bar with the whipped cream. It's ice cream and cake in a bowl. When I'm craving a cookie, I reach for my Fiber One cookies. Now, the chocolate chip cookies are five points for one cookie. If I have it, I'll use it. Mm, those ones I eat through a lot slower. But the oatmeal raisin, I truly enjoy those. Those are three or four points. I'm out of them. I need to get some because I really am craving an oatmeal raisin cookie. I just jumped into the Built Bar revolution. <laughs> Just recently, I purchased some Built Bars. I ended up going online and they have a sampler box that you can order. And it gives you one of all of their different kinds of Built Bars, including the puffs. Now, every Built Bar is three points for me, but the puffs are four points. So I haven't tried the puffs yet, but all the other ones I've tried, some of them I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> but most of them were really good. Right now I'm working my way through a cherry barcia and a peanut butter brownie. These two were my top picks, so I got these and I'm enjoying them. Three points a piece, they're chewy, they're like a chewy candy bar, they're really good. And I find if I'm having an extra hungry day, eating a Built Bar really does fill me up and keeps me full for the afternoon until dinner. Two desserts that I have recently made here on my channel, is one of them is a fruit cobbler and I took an apple, chopped it up, and then I put two point oatmeal that I have found at Target and I put that all over the top of it, did a little bit of spray butter, put it in the microwave, and it was so, so good. Another one I've been making for a while and it is a fruit cobbler. You can use frozen fruit or fresh fruit, strawberries, blueberries, anything that you want. Peaches are really good. 
You take a third cup of cake mix with three tablespoons of water, mix it really well, pour it over the fruit, pop it in your microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds, and you have an absolutely delicious cobbler. You can even top it with some sugar-free whipped cream. It's so good. I'm telling you, it's craveable, it's delicious, and it's very low in calorie. For my personal points, it's only three points. What are some of the things that you like to snack on throughout the day? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.